Manganese or Deposits Definition Manganese or deposits are geological formations where manganese-bearing minerals accumulate in sufficient quantities to make mining economically viable. Manganese is a crucial element used in various industrial applications, particularly in steel production, batteries, and chemical manufacturing. The formation of manganese or deposits is influenced by a combination of geological, hydrological, and chemical processes over long periods of time. These deposits typically occur in a variety of geological settings, including sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous environments. Sedimentary deposits are often found in marine environments where manganese-rich sediments accumulate on the seafloor over millions of years. These sediments may undergo diagenesis and become consolidated into manganese-rich sedimentary rocks, such as manganese nodules and manganese-rich black shale deposits. Metamorphic deposits form when pre-existing manganese-bearing rocks, such as manganese-rich sedimentary rocks or manganese-bearing minerals in igneous rocks, undergo metamorphism due to changes in temperature, pressure, and chemical environment. These changes can cause the concentration of manganese minerals to increase, forming economically viable deposits. Igneous deposits result from the crystallization of magma enriched in manganese during the cooling and solidification of volcanic or intrusive rocks. Manganese may occur as primary minerals within these rocks or as secondary minerals formed through hydrothermal alteration processes. The concentration of manganese in these deposits can vary widely, ranging from a few percent to several tens of percent manganese by weight. High-grade manganese or deposits with concentrations exceeding 35% manganese are considered particularly valuable for industrial applications, especially in steelmaking, where manganese is added to improve the strength, hardness, and corrosion resistance of steel. The exploration and exploitation of manganese or deposits involve various geological and geochemical techniques to identify prospective areas for mining. Geological mapping, remote sensing, geophysical surveys, and geochemical analysis of rock samples are commonly used methods to locate and evaluate manganese deposits. Once a deposit is identified, mining operations may involve open pit or underground mining methods, depending on the depth, size, and grade of the ore body. Overall, manganese ore deposits play a critical role in supplying the global demand for manganese, a vital element in numerous industrial sectors. Understanding the geological processes that govern the formation and distribution of these deposits is essential for sustainable mining practices and ensuring a stable supply of manganese resources for future generations. Formation of manganese or deposits The formation of manganese or deposits is a complex geological process influenced by a variety of factors, including tectonic activity, sedimentary processes, hydrothermal activity, and chemical weathering. These deposits can form through several mechanisms, each resulting in distinct types of manganese or occurrences. Here's a detailed exploration of some of the primary mechanisms involved. Hydrothermal processes. Hydrothermal fluids enriched in manganese can migrate through fractures and faults in the Earth's crust. As these fluids circulate, they interact with surrounding rocks, dissolving manganese and other elements. When conditions favor precipitation, such as changes in temperature, pressure, or chemical composition, manganese minerals can precipitate from the hydrothermal fluids, forming veins, breccias, or replacement deposits. Hydrothermal processes are responsible for the formation of some high-grade manganese or deposits, particularly in metamorphic and igneous environments. Sedimentary processes Sedimentary manganese deposits form through the accumulation and concentration of manganese-rich sediments over geological time scales. In marine environments, manganese-bearing minerals can precipitate from seawater or be concentrated by chemical and biological processes. Manganese nodules, for example, form on the seafloor through the slow accumulation of manganese and other minerals around a nucleus, such as a shell fragment or a mineral grain. Manganese-rich black shale deposits also form in marine environments where organic-rich sediments become enriched in manganese through complex chemical reactions. Weathering and secondary enrichment 
Weathering of manganese-bearing rocks and minerals on the Earth's surface can release manganese into the environment. Manganese may then be transported by surface water or groundwater and deposited in secondary environments where favorable conditions exist for concentration and enrichment. This process, known as secondary enrichment, can result in the formation of residual manganese or deposits, often found in laterite and bauxite formations in tropical and subtropical regions. Secondary enrichment is particularly important for the formation of low-grade manganese or deposits. Magmatic processes Manganese can also be concentrated in magmatic systems during the crystallization of molten rock. Igneous rocks enriched in manganese minerals may form through the cooling and solidification of magma, with manganese-bearing minerals crystallizing alongside other minerals such as quartz, feldspar, and mica. These magmatic deposits can occur in various geological settings, including volcanic and intrusive environments. However, magmatic manganese deposits are relatively rare compared to sedimentary and hydrothermal deposits. The formation of manganese or deposits is a dynamic process influenced by geological, hydrological, and chemical factors operating over millions to billions of years. Understanding these processes and the geological environments conducive to manganese or formation is essential for the exploration and exploitation of manganese resources. Furthermore, ongoing research into the geology of manganese deposits is crucial for ensuring sustainable mining practices and the continued availability of manganese for industrial applications. Properties of manganese or deposits Manganese or deposits exhibit a wide range of properties influenced by their geological origin, mineralogy, and chemical composition. These properties play a significant role in determining the economic viability of mining operations and the suitability of manganese ores for various industrial applications. Here's a detailed exploration of the properties of manganese ore deposits. Mineralogy Manganese ore deposits can contain a variety of manganese-bearing minerals, with the most common being pyrolusite, MnO2, silomelane, rhodochrosite, MnCO3, and hosmonite, MN304. The mineralogy of a deposit influences its physical and chemical properties, including its color, hardness, and chemical reactivity. For example, pyrolusite is typically black or dark gray in color, whereas rhodochrosite is pink to reddish-brown. Chemical composition The chemical composition of manganese ores varies widely depending on the minerals present and the geological processes that form the deposit. High-grade manganese ores typically have a manganese content exceeding 35% by weight, although lower-grade ores with manganese concentrations as low as 10% may still be economically viable depending on other factors such as the presence of valuable co-minerals and the cost of extraction. Physical Properties Manganese ore deposits exhibit various physical properties, including hardness, density, and grain size. The hardness of manganese ores can vary from relatively soft to hard, depending on the dominant minerals present. Manganese nodules, for example, are often relatively soft and friable, whereas some manganese-rich sedimentary rocks may exhibit greater hardness and resistance to abrasion. The density of manganese ores ranges from about 3.7 to 5.0 grams per cubic centimeter, with higher-grade ores generally having higher densities. Texture and Structure the texture and structure of manganese ore deposits can vary widely depending on their geological origin and subsequent alteration processes. Sedimentary manganese deposits, such as nodules and black shale deposits, often exhibit laminated or nodular textures, reflecting their formation in marine environments. Hydrothermal and metamorphic manganese deposits may display brecciated, vein-like, or replacement textures, indicative of their formation through hydrothermal processes or metamorphic alteration. Associated minerals Manganese ore deposits frequently contain other economically valuable minerals, such as iron, silica, aluminum, and various trace elements. The presence of these associated minerals can influence the processing methods required to extract manganese from the ore and may impact the overall economics of mining operations. For example, 
the presence of silica in manganese ores can lead to challenges in smelting and alloy production. Geological setting The geological setting of manganese ore deposits, including their stratigraphic position, structural controls, and associated rock types, can provide valuable information about their origin and potential for economic exploitation. Manganese deposits associated with specific geological formations, such as black shales, ophiolites, or hydrothermal veins, may have distinct properties and characteristics that influence exploration and mining strategies. Understanding the properties of manganese ore deposits is essential for the exploration, evaluation, and exploitation of these resources. Geological, mineralogical, and geochemical studies are conducted to characterize manganese deposits and assess their economic potential. By gaining insights into the properties and characteristics of manganese ores, mining companies can optimize extraction processes, minimize environmental impacts, and ensure sustainable utilization of manganese resources for industrial applications. Classification of manganese ore deposits the classification of manganese ore deposits is a complex endeavor due to the diversity of geological processes and environments that contribute to their formation. Geologists have proposed various classification schemes based on factors such as geological setting, mineralogy, and mode of occurrence. Here, we'll explore several classification approaches commonly used to categorize manganese ore deposits. Geological setting one common classification method categorizes manganese ore deposits based on their geological setting. This approach recognizes three main types of deposits. Sedimentary deposits, formed through the accumulation and concentration of manganese-rich sediments in marine or terrestrial environments. Examples include manganese nodules, manganese-rich black shale deposits, and residual lateritic and bauxitic deposits. Hydrothermal deposits, formed by the circulation of hydrothermal fluids enriched in manganese, which precipitate manganese minerals through vein filling, replacement, or breccia-forming processes. Hydrothermal deposits can occur in a variety of geological settings, including metamorphic terrains, volcanic environments, and rift zones. Magmatic deposits, formed through the crystallization of molten rock enriched in manganese minerals during the cooling and solidification of magma. Magmatic deposits are relatively rare compared to sedimentary and hydrothermal deposits and are typically associated with specific igneous rock types, such as mafic and ultramafic intrusions. Mineralogical Composition Manganese ore deposits can also be classified based on their mineralogical composition, distinguishing between primary manganese minerals and secondary manganese minerals formed through weathering and alteration processes. Primary manganese minerals include pyrolusite, salomelane, rhodochrosite, and hosmonite, among others. Secondary manganese minerals may include various manganese oxides, hydroxides, and carbonates form through the weathering of primary manganese-bearing rocks and minerals. Mode of occurrence Manganese ore deposits can be further classified based on their mode of occurrence within the geological environment. Common modes of occurrence include Stratiform deposits, formed as continuous or discontinuous layers within sedimentary sequences, such as manganese-rich black shale deposits. Disseminated deposits characterized by the widespread distribution of manganese-bearing minerals throughout the host rock, often requiring extensive mining and processing to extract the ore. Vein and hydrothermal deposits occur as concentrated mineralized zones within fractures, faults, or hydrothermal veins, often associated with igneous or metamorphic rocks. Residual deposits formed through the weathering and leaching of manganese-bearing rocks and minerals, with manganese accumulating in residual soil and regolith. Economic Considerations Manganese ore deposits can also be classified based on their economic significance and potential for commercial exploitation. High-grade deposits with manganese concentrations exceeding 35% are considered economically viable for direct shipping or smelting, while lower-grade deposits may require beneficiation and processing to extract the manganese economically. 
In practice, manganese ore deposits often exhibit a combination of geological settings, mineralogical compositions, and modes of occurrence, making their classification challenging. Geologists and mining engineers employ a multidisciplinary approach, integrating geological, geochemical, and geophysical data to characterize manganese deposits and assess their economic potential. By understanding the diverse classification schemes and the factors influencing manganese ore formation, researchers and industry professionals can optimize exploration strategies and mining practices for sustainable.